Hello everyone, it's Paula here. I am here with my um, autumn journal number two. This one is made from um, my porch prints. It also has Tsunami Rose and a couple other new ones, I new shops that I visited and I will link them below. Um, it's a hardback cover has two signatures and she's a chunky monkey and it's um, covered with embroidery, not embroidery, good, goodness. It is covered with um, just some fabric that I found in my stash as I was digging back there. Some heavy duty fabric. I just love the feel of it. Super cute. I just did a little cluster right here of different pieces. I think it's so cute. I love it. And then we have some tags to go in the front. Let's put those in there. So cute. I love that. And I just have found, also found this. Um, I think this was a piece that, you know, that was tied around a blanket when I got it. And I just cut it off and used it as a closure. I put book corners on it. And let's go inside. And here we have a um, pocket with a bird on it. And she's so cute. And we have these. This is from a new shop. I will link below. And this is Tsunami Rose. I'll link her as well. I put this piece of fabric down here so my book wouldn't flop around because <laughs> uh, it likes to do some flopping and I just used some random um, cardstock out of my stash that I had and I also put some ruffle trim on here a little piece of a calendar and another little pocket with a little um, cluster on there and all of my most of my tags are backed on coffee dyed paper, and some are not, but most of them are. The ones that are sewn are, and I just added some trim right there. That is a page out of a magazine. It is, I can't remember the name of the magazine. Did a little cluster there. Did some stamping, and this is one of the envelopes. It's so gorgeous. I love this envelope. And this is one of Tsunami Rose's bird collection. And just cardstock. And I printed this page on vellum. I love the way that looks against the paper. It's so pretty. And in here, this is Tsunami Rose as well, out of her big elements. This is a new shop. And I will link this below as well. I can't remember the name of it right offhand. But it's also a new shop I visited. And over here we have these two ties. And I just added this little sentiment onto this tag here. Page out of the magazine. And here is a tag I did. And this is a paper clip I made. So cute. The ruffle. Another pocket here. A big, huge tag that came in the kit. And I just backed it on coffee dyed paper. Did a little belly band right there. And did a little cluster on this tag. And here is some snippets for her to use how she wishes. Just tuck that in there. And then the book page. And here is a pocket and it has this little um, envelope which is super cute. And I love this one. Oh my goodness. I just super love this one. And in here we have a stuffed envelope and um, a little cluster on there with these tags inside. And that is some very old vintage music paper. The other side of that vellum. A little pocket here. And a little 
things. It's not a, um, it's just a piece of ephemera I fussy cut out. A little piece of fussy cut there. And some layering on that tag. A little cluster there, nothing in the bag. And over here we have a fabric leaf. And this one. And this is some folded up paper. Oh my goodness. My hands are being weird today. Another beautiful calendar page. I don't have any more. I think I have, actually, I think I have like one more and then the cover left out of that calendar. And I'm so glad I used it because I don't use calendars, but it was so cute I had to do something with it. A little stamping. Second signature. And this one actually opens up for more journaling. Fabric. I love that fabric. Just added those two. That's Tsunami Rose. It says October. I don't know if you can see it. I love it. A little pocket here and one here. Another calendar butterfly. Another stamp. And some fabric that she can use in the book. Book page, some washi tape that I made, some stamping. This is also a pocket here. And this is another vellum page. I love those, they're so cute. That book page is amazing too, actually. And another envelope, folded up envelope book page. And this is um, just a little cluster that I made. Billy Band. Beautiful page. Some more washi tape. And a stuffed envelope here. And I'll just pull them all out. These ones are not, only one of these is backed on coffee day paper and that's this one. Cute. Such cute little things and a little cluster here. And behind it, we have this one. Another little pocket here. I love that because it has a bee on it. Another little pocket there. I'm trying to just stuff all these cute little pieces. of, And I still have some left over. I could probably put more in here, but I don't know if it would ever close. <laughs> this has a pocket right here. And that is a real flower right there. Hydrangea from my neighbor. And I just did some clustering on there. Layering, clustering, whatever you want to call it. Love that. Another pocket. Another pretty tag. I get in there. And over here, another little tuck spot. I have some little pockets everywhere. I love these birds. Mommy Rose Birds. And here is a paper clip I made, which I love. I love how that one turned out. And a big old journaling tag. Tag there. A little um, sticker, leaf fall sticker there. Big journaling tag. Some layering on there. I love those. They're so cute. Some more washi tape. Another butterfly, which I love. Some um, ruffle, fabric ruffle. And back here we have another tag. And that is Artie Mays, I believe. In that pocket and I just put a little bow right there and a little dot right there and this stamp I super love this stamp oh my goodness where did I put it oh I put it all back because I have my Christmas ones out now but oh I love this stamp right there I love the pumpkin one too but <laughs> 
And here we have two more tags, big old one. I will link where I got this below. And Tsunami Rose Bird. I love those. That is my number two autumn junk journal. She's a chunky. Almost made her too big, actually. <laughs> but I love it. Thank you so much for watching. And um, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And stay safe. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.